am so honored to introduce the next president of the United States, Senator Kamala Harris. A Harris administration together with Joe Biden. Harris-Biden administration is going to relaunch that effort and keep pushing. Hey, we're going to take note of the fact that during the pandemic, over two million people, two million women people <laughs> became unemployed. Do you plan to visit the border? Uh, um, not today. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I have before and I'm sure I will again. People who are in, convicted in prison, like the Boston Marathon bomber, death row, people who are convicted of sexual assault, they should be able to vote? I think we should have that conversation. Kamala Harris ran for president by rushing to the radical left, embracing Bernie's plan for socialized medicine, calling for trillions in new taxes, attacking Joe Biden for racist policies. Voters rejected Harris. They smartly spotted a phony. But not Joe Biden. He's not that smart. Biden calls himself a transition candidate. He is handing over the reins to Kamala while they jointly embrace the radical left. Slow Joe and phony Kamala. Perfect together. Wrong for America. It's a long way until November. We got more questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black, and you ain't black, and you ain't black, and you ain't black. It was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputations of two United States senators who built their reputations and career on the segregation of race in this country. More than a dozen of Joe Biden's campaign staffers are donating to a group that's bailing out rioters in Minneapolis. New questions about who the Minnesota Freedom Fund is bailing out. Jaleel Stalins, charged with attempted murder, prosecutors say he shot at a SWAT team during the riots in May. Darnica Floyd, charged with second-degree murder for stabbing a friend to death. There's Christopher Boswell, a twice-convicted rapist, currently charged with kidnapping and sexual assault in two separate cases. All three would probably still be sitting in jail if it wasn't for the Minnesota Freedom Fund. The group that paid their bail, no questions asked. Not only is Joe Biden really not speaking out, not saying much, but his, his staffers are giving to a bailout fund? That's inexcusable. After the steel mills fell, it just all crumbled. I'm third generation. I've worked at steel mill for a year and a half. And now the steel mill ain't even there. This is just the way of the world. China is an economic rival to the United States. It does export, it does manufacture, and yes, it takes American jobs. We want to see China rise. China is going to eat our lunch. Come on, man. I mean, I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks. I believe then, and I'm even more convinced now, that a rising China is an incredibly positive development. China has made remarkable remarkable strides. ABC News investigation this morning into Joe Biden's son, Hunter, and questions about money he made from foreign business dealings while his father was vice president. And did Joe Biden allow it? We're talking about millions of dollars in at least two countries. Did you talk about China no. or your deal with China? No. A 12-hour flight over? No, no, of course not. That never came up? No. Less than two weeks after that trip, BHR Partners was launched, a private equity firm funded in part by Chinese banks. He has come forward and said it was a mistake on his part to be on the board. My son's business dealings were not anything with everybody that he's talking about. What's your understanding of what your son was doing for an extraordinary amount of money? I don't know what he was doing. I know he was on the board. Hunter Biden holds an equity stake in a company that's taken over a billion and a half dollars in loans from the Chinese government. This is obviously an issue. What they said is China would prefer Joe Biden. China and Iran. China and Iran. China and Iran want to see Donald Trump's defeat. And they're looking for ways to make that happen. China's a great nation, and we should hope for the continued expansion. The growth of China is overwhelmingly in our interest. And there's much more to come. And now the steel mill ain't even there. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. <laughs> that 
is why we put them in dormitories and they have a resident assistant. They make really bad decisions. Unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community. Do you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black? Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. My Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this. I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the black. And uh, uh, other than the fact that they still call me boy, I don't think they've, I think they've changed their mind. They're going to put you all back in chains. That's the first sort of... Mainstream African American who is articulate and bright and, and clean and nice looking guy. I mean, it's that's a story for a bit. It was hurtful to hear you talk about the reputation of two United States senators who built their reputation and career on the segregation of race in this country. Are you going to I apologize? Like Cory Booker apologize has for, for what? For, for what? what? And you had CNN, whoops, the light just went off. That light goes off. As soon as they hear the word CNN, boom, the light goes off. No, you had the CNN, the, uh, you know, shaves his head. Maybe I'll do my hair that way. CNN stop! CNN stop! CNN stop! CNN stop! We have an hour trade deficit that's larger with China than when we were there. Actually, that depends on how you calculate it. The overall trade deficit with China was slightly lower in 2019 than it was during the last three years of the Obama administration. My father has invested billions of dollars. I, I mean, tens of billions of dollars in, in this country. He's built the biggest buildings. We employ tens of thousands of people. Compare that to Joe Biden. Joe Biden has been leeching off of the federal government his entire adult life. The guy's never had a real job that hasn't been taxpayer funded ever. Joe Biden's created one job. You know who that was? Hunter Biden, right? Hunter Biden made an absolute fortune. This guy never created a job. He never built buildings. He never employed thousands of construction people and service people and people to work in restaurants and hotels. <laughs> You know, the rapidly rising uh, um, uh, in with, uh, with uh, I don't know, uh, uh, 